Hi there, ladies, and this is Elise with Stellar Gems, and I wanted to post a video about the Tia Crossbody bag uh, for stylists. I'm going to do another video for customers, but I had posted how much I am in love with the Tia Crossbody, and I will tell you, I was not expecting to be so in love with her. Um, I was very much anticipating and excited about the Avalon clutch because I'm a clutch girl. When I go out to dinner and out with my girlfriends, I love to carry a clutch. And so I was very excited about that. I wasn't sure that I would be that excited about the T crossbody, but I thought it was a great size. Um, and I thought it was great versatility um, in the lineup of all the bags that we currently offer. So what is so exciting about this Tia Crossbody is what I'm going to use it for. I don't know that I'm going to use it as a true purse, but it's more of a utilitarian reason why I'm using it. And I'm going to use it as kind of like a tech case. And um, you'll see why. But I am in love with this bag. I posted on Superstars that I love this bag so much. And at the request of another stylist, she had said to post pictures. But I felt that posting pictures would not do justice to the reasons why I love the bag. So I thought a video was more appropriate. And so that's what I'm doing. Um, and also, as well as address another concern that another sister stylist had, I think it was Jackie, about the zipper um, on the Tia bag. So as you can see, look, I have my Avalon bracelet. It is so chic, I'm telling you. It's a little wider. Um, than I expected. Well, I mean, I knew it was wide, but I guess it didn't seem like it would be that wide. And originally when I first put it on, I wasn't sure. But now I really just love it. I wore it all day. It fits perfectly, and it's not even on the smallest setting, which is amazing because my wrists are super small. And I love the, the rose gold detail. And originally I was afraid to stack it with other bracelets, but um, Blythe just did a webinar. And in one of her Instagram pictures, she had it stacked with some other boys. So I'm going to play around with that a little bit. Um, and then, of course, I have the Avalon crescent and hoop earrings on just because I kind of wanted to see how I could play with it. I also think the goddess, um, is it the teardrop earrings? I, in rose gold, will probably go really nicely with this, as well as the pyramid studs. So there's different ways to play. Um, but I'm really excited. So I really do love this. And I'm just so happy that we have such versatility in our clutch that we can take the wristlet off and wear it as a bracelet. It's just so cute. So, okay. So here is the Tia crossbody bag in Cerise. And I have to say, I'm in love. I really am. And it's the, you know, the Stingray stamp um, effect, I guess, on the material. It's super soft and stylish and very quality and doesn't feel plasticky at all as I know some people have voiced about the faux Safiano finish on the um, Madison Tech bag and even though it does have that plasticky feel on the Madison Tech I do find that bag to be durable which I love and for anyone that's going to use it as like their everyday work bag they can really beat up on this bag and it's going to take it Beating. And it has the feet on the bottom, which is great too. So I understand what people are saying about that feel, but I feel like that adds to its ruggedness, uh, even though it's stylish. And with this, you get a much more supple, much more soft and um, polished feel because there's like a gloss on this leather, um, this faux leather feel. So I love it. So why I love it so much is because I'm going to use it as a tech case because. Although we have iPad mini cases, and I have the Leopard one in particular, it holds the iPad mini, and that's it, though. I can't put anything else inside that case because it's made just for holding the actual iPad mini, which is great. But I also bought a Bluetooth keyboard to use with my iPad mini so that it could function almost like a little mini laptop. And for that reason, I wanted to keep them together, and I'm, I'm not able to do that with the case. So I literally for the past two weeks have been searching online for actual neoprene sleeves or cases that could accommodate both the iPad mini and the Bluetooth keyboard as 
as well as whatever other accessories possibly like pockets or whatever and so when i got this little baby in the mail um yesterday i was pleasantly surprised to see that i could use it for that and it was just faded that i didn't buy anything online because i'm going to use the tia instead so it's fully zipped and i have everything that i plan to carry here in here so it's still zipped. So technically speaking, I could put even more in here if I wanted to. And I do plan to carry this everywhere with me inside my bigger bag. So right now I'm using the Madison, but I may pull it out and put it inside one of the How Does She Do It bags, or I'll put it in my Parisian tote, whatever it is. But I just like that it's so functional and practical for my purposes. And um, so it has an external pocket, which fits perfectly. It so happens to fit the stylus opportunity brochures and i have two here but you could easily put more like five half a dozen um it's just still very roomy and i just like it that i have it right here at my fingertips um you could probably put a pen in here and your post-it notes too just so you have them on hand and then in the front it is literally like the mini lookbook holder that we got from glam getaway but attached to the bag and it's on the outside i literally look i have literally like 10. I have like 10 lookbooks right here, and there's still room. So you could put your business cards here too, which is what I was planning to do. I just took them out. Um, but I just like it that it's so accessible, and it's right here at my fingertips. Okay. And then you open up the bag, and I have my iPad. So here's the iPad. But this is my, it's magnetic. My Bluetooth case. See? And it, there's like a metal strip here, a magnetic strip, I'm sorry, that actually helps to keep them together as if they were one piece. So you see that? There's right there. And then I just flip it and it just stays together, which I also like because it kind of serves as a cover protector for the actual screen on my iPad. And I want to keep them just like this. And for that reason, I couldn't use our tech case for it. And the other thing I noticed too is when I have the iPad in the tech case and then I try to put the swiper on, it's not flush, and that was just bothering me that I had to play with it and move it around. So I just rather leave it separate. Um, so I have them both here. And if you look in my bag and it's still zipped up, I just slide it in and it fits perfectly in there. I mean, it's great. There's still room in here, and I could unzip it if I needed more room. And then I have the strap. I don't really use crossbody straps, but I do keep it in my bag for when I might need to. So I have that in here. My phone fits in here. And then in the little pocket, I have my earphones. And then I have my swiper. It all fits in here. And I always carry lip gloss or chapstick and mints or like mint gum, some kind of thing like that in here. And I still have room to spare if I wanna put maybe my hand sanitizer and it's all good. So I'm just excited because I'm literally going to use this like a tech case to hold all these things. And then I could still put my wallet in here if I wanted to, and then keep this bigger bag in, this little bag in my bigger bag. And then when I'm running in and out of the store, instead of carrying my big bag, I can just pull this out and I can literally just do this and run into the store. So I'm really happy with it. I just can't believe that it holds as much as it does. Now in terms of the zipper, I think Jackie was saying that a customer didn't like that when you unzipped it. Like I would just unzip it and stop. I wouldn't, I wouldn't undo that detail there because really who's really gonna pick at the fact that this is still attached and this is completely unzipped. It really doesn't obstruct the expansion of the bag at all. The bag still opens up. It's just a little tack right there. So I don't really find that that's gonna be a problem but apparently some people might be finicky about that. But let's just say that we'll unzip it like the way the getaway bag unzips. And see, now it's completely detached. And I think Jackie was saying the zipper slid down, which I think if you zip it up and you actually lock it in, there's a snap that you hear and it snaps up and it stays there. Mine hasn't moved. So I don't know if the customer realized that she could just click it in place kind of and do that so that it stays in place. Um, I mean, obviously, if many of us going forward find that it's a, a design flaw, 
where it just keeps sliding down. Maybe there's something we could do to fashion like a hook of some sort that helps to lock this in place so it doesn't go up and down. But honestly, um, to answer Jackie's question, I feel like if you unclick it from there, yeah, it's gonna fall down here. And then there's nothing you can do about it. But I find that if you can even hear it. If there's a click there. So if there's a click there and she keeps it like that, I don't feel that she should worry that it's gonna fall down. So I don't know. But I mean, the details on this bag are great. I'm very tempted, very, very tempted to get the black and to also get the blue in the Avalon because these are gonna be bags that I'll hold on to regardless if they're discontinued, retired, on sale, whatever, I'm gonna keep them. Because these are the kind of bags that I love. I love bags like this. I love carrying them around town when I go out. Um, and so I feel like I may end up doing that. So anyways, but I hope you guys see what I'm talking about. I totally love this bag for all intended purposes. I mean, now that I've expanded it, it's even bigger and I can probably put like the Mercer Watt or even the Chelsea Tech Watt in here and call it a day. Super cute, super easy, super functional. Um, and the other added thing too is I feel like Possibly because I was marketing the hang on as also a diaper clutch because you could hang it up technically and, you know, and put diapers in there and all the different diaper rash creams and band-aids and little first aid stuff in there and a bag of wipes. But this in terms of the width, you could easily put diaper rash cream in here along with hand sanitizer, a pack of baby wipes and probably at least five disposable diapers in here. So just saying it's a possibility that we could use it that way too so i'm always trying to think and brainstorm of different ways that our bags can be more multifunctional and multi-purpose so hopefully this video helped out so you see why i love it so much and hopefully when you get your bag you will love it too and until then happy sparkly i'll see you ladies later bye